I'll say it. <laughs> hey, Santosha family. This is Deanna. This is our power flow. Kelly and Weston here too. We're going to start in child's pose. So if you want to make your way there and start to settle in, start to sink your hips back towards your heels. Reach your arms out long. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long sigh out of your mouth. Two more just like that. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then inhaling in. Exhale, release. Empty the lungs. Starting our Ujjayi Pranayama breath, breathing in and out through the nose exclusively, constricting the back of the throat with each inhale and each exhale. This breath is audible. It builds heat in your body. It helps you stay present in your practice. And there's always something to come back to at any time that you need a break. You can come right back here. So take a big breath in through your nose. Long breath out. And then slowly walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, stacking that left hand on top of the right, bringing your attention to your left hip, pushing your left hip down to your left heel, feeling the stretch through the side body. One big breath in, long breath out, and then slowly walk your hands over to the other side, this time stacking your left hand on top of your right. Intention goes to the right hip, pushing that right hip down to the right heel, feeling the stretch through the ribs. Inhaling in, and then exhaling out. Hands come back to center, palms come together to touch pair position, thumbs to the back of the neck so your elbows are on the mat, feeling a stretch through the triceps, the shoulders, maybe even the chest. Here, if you set intentions for your practice, this is a great time to set an intention, or maybe just send some love, good vibes out to somebody you're missing today. Take one more breath in. And long breath out. Good. And slowly come up to your hands and knees, making our way to our stable table. Stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And we're going to take three hip circles in each direction. So first to the right. Right hip goes to right heel, then left hip to left heel. All the way around, taking huge, big movements on your breath. Letting your breath move your body. Going for your third hip circle all the way around. And then switching directions, left hip to left heel, right hip to right heel. Big sweeping motions, and just noticing how you're feeling, how your body's doing today. One more time to the left, all the way around, and then finding your stable table, neutral spine. Moving through three rounds of cat cow on an inhale, drop that belly down to the mat, toe load and chin rise up to the ceiling. Exhale, press the mat away with your hands, knees, shins, and tops of feet, feeling the core contract. Inhale in for cow. And big exhale out for cat. Really push everything away. One more time. Inhale in for cow. And then exhale out for cat. Finding that neutral spine once again. Moving to thread the needle. Right arm reaches high to the sky. Right arm threads underneath the chest. Connecting the right shoulder, right ear, maybe right temple with the mat. Left arm has options. It can go to the top of your mat or take the bind behind the low back. It's up to you. Maybe that left hand finds that right hip crease. You're welcome to stay here or bring the left foot to the back of the mat if that feels good in your body and lift the left heel high to the sky. Big breath in through the nose, staying here for the exhale, and then slowly releasing that knee down to the mat, left hand by the face, right arm reaches high to the sky, pushing up, roll that wrist one way, the other, press that hand down into the mat, other side. Left arm goes high to the sky, really open up and twist, thread the needle, left hand underneath the chest, connecting left shoulder, left ear temple to the mat, Right arm can go long or take the bind. Cross the low back, finding the left hip crease. Staying here, letting that space between the shoulder blades open up and then maybe taking that right foot back and lifting the heel. Big breath in, long breath out. Slowly release, knee finds the mat, right knee next to the face, pushing in, lifting the left hand up, roll that wrist one way, then the other, place that hand down onto the mat, puppy pose. Walk the hands three or four, maybe five handprints out in front of you, keeping the hips stacked high over the knees, so tailbones reaching high to the sky, dropping the chest down. Keep the breath strong. Breathing in and breathing out. Slowly walk the hands back, finding that stable table once again. We're just gonna step back to high plank, so one foot and then the other, finding that top of the push-ups. So really think about your hands here. They're spread wide, wrists are right underneath the 
shoulders, press out of the shoulder sockets, don't dump down, puff up that space between the shoulder blades, engage all those muscles in the legs, and then maybe lift up higher on the toe mat. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. One more inhale in, exhale and stay, and then find your down dog. Keep hands and feet right where they are, lift the hips high. Start to pedal things out, pressing one heel down and then the other, feeling the stretch on the back side of the legs. Bring attention to the palms, making sure fingers, fingers are spread wide, hands are shoulder width apart. Finding some stillness here, let those heels float down to the mat, press into the hands, reach the chest back towards the thighs, take a deep breath in, exhale and melt. And inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes, slowly make them right to the top of the mat, tiptoeing your way to ragdoll pose. Once you get there, feet are hip distance apart and parallel, knees are bent greatly, belly is resting on the sides, everything is hanging over. You can hold on to opposite elbows and sway. You can let the arms dangle. You can maybe even put the hands on the back of the head just to give your spine some more traction. It's up to you. Just keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, hands dangle down to the mat. Find your forward fold, so wiggle your feet together to touch. Legs begin to lengthen, three half lifts. So hands come to shin, squeeze shoulder blades together, lift. Exhale, down forward fold. Two more times like that, inhale and lift. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale and lift. Exhale, release. Finding high mountain arms come all the way to the top. Feeling strong and grounded here, let those shoulders settle down into the sockets. T twist, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Spinning your heart open to the right side of your wrist. Inhale, both arms reach up back to the sky. Exhale, other side. Right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. Big breath in. Both arms go up to the sky. Take the back wing cactus, the elbows really open up through the chest. Exhale, down forward, fold, release. Inhale, halfway lift to reset. Exhale, down release, step back to high plank, top of a push up, hold here. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly for five, four, three, two, one, finding Sphinx pose, elbows are right underneath, shoulders making the number 11 with your forearms. Squeeze those legs together, activating the muscles, press the tops of the feet into the mat, then pull the heart through the biceps, feeling all the strength and power in the shoulders and back. Take a deep breath in, long breath out, release all the way down. Pushing up to high plank, hands come right underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, and hands before them, push straight up. Downward facing dog, hips are high, heels are low. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes, make your way to the top of the mat. You can walk, jump, float, hop, skip, whatever you like. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. High mountain arms reach up high to the sky. Good, taking the back leg, practice the elbows, really open up. And then arms reach up high to the sky. Half moon, right hand grabs left wrist as you reach up and over towards the right side of the, of the room. Ground down through that left foot. Feel the left foot grounded into the mat. Push the left hip over and then really pull. Inhale brings you back to center. Switch the grip. Left hand grabs right wrist, going up and over. Pull, pull. Ground down through that right side. Feel the stretch. Inhale brings you back to center. Release down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift or reset. Exhale, down release. Step back to high plank, top of a push up, holding here. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. One more inhale in. Exhale brings you all the way down to your belly for five, four, three, two, one. Baby cobra, squeeze those legs together. Hands are right underneath the chest. Lift the, uh, uh, underneath the shoulders, lift the chest. No weight in the hands. All the strength and power comes from the low back. Take one more breath in. Then exhale, down release. High plank, tuck the toes, engage the core, push straight back up, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Good, going a little bit faster. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes, slowly make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. High mountain arms reach up high to the sky. Good, just take your back bend here, thumbs reach to the back of the room. Exhale, down forward fold, hands come through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, release. Exhale, down forward fold. Stepping back to high plank, top of a push up. Moving through a chaturanga, lower down halfway, elbows hug the ribs. Inhale, upward facing dog, only hands and tops of feet on mat, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes, exhale, forward fold, jump or walk. Inhale, 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. High mountain arms reach up high to the sky. Take the back bend, lips go to the back of the room. Hips push forward. Exhale, down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to reset. Exhale, down, release, forward fold. Step back to high plank. Moving through your chaturanga or skipping it, just holding high plank. It's up to you. Remember, this is your practice. Do what feels best in your body. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes. Exhale, feet to hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. High mountain arms reach up high to the sky. Take the back bend, open up. Exhale, down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Stepping back to high plank, top of a push up. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long breath out, let it go. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes. Exhale, feet to hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. High mountain arms reach up high to the sky. Step your feet hip distance apart. Interlace your hands behind your back. Squeeze your palms together to touch. Pull those fingers down towards the mat for your back bend. Push your hips forward. Drop your head back between your shoulder blades. And then you can keep your hands how they are. Begin to fold forward. If you have the flexibility in your shoulder, shoulders, pinkies may float overhead. If not, just do the best you can. You'll open up, you'll get stronger, you'll get more flexible. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release the hands down to the mat. Half lift to reset. Exhale, down forward fold. Stepping back to high plank, top of a push up. Lower down, halfway chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long side out. Inhale, right heel high to the sky. Heel is up, toe is down. Really dial that pinky toe down, feeling the strength of the hamstring lift the heel even higher. Very slowly bring the right foot next to the right thumb and lower the back knee for a low lunge. Both hands float all the way up to the sky. You can stay here. You can shift the hips forward. Just get that nice stretch on the hip flexor. From here, we're going to find that T-twist again. So right hand goes forward, left arm goes back, really opening up. Right hand goes forward, left arm goes back. Right hand goes forward, left arm goes back. Yep, that's what I said. I meant the other way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> left hand goes forward, right arm goes back. My fault. From here, we can take the back bend. So reaching that left arm up, right hand can find the hamstring behind you. Sorry, guys. Good. Slowly float both arms up to the sky. Finding high lunge, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. You might have to adjust your stance a little bit just to keep yourself safe. Front knee over front ankle, pointing over the middle toes. Engage the back leg, lift up higher on the back toe mount. Let the shoulders be gentle in the sockets. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Good, and then slowly drop that back knee all the way down to the mat. Again, half split, lengthen the front leg, release forward. Flex those toes back to the face. Good, feel the stretch on the hamstring. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Good, bending back into the front knee, find your runner's lunge. We're gonna twist, right arm's gonna reach up high to the sky, stacking right shoulder over left, and from here, making our way to side plank. So you're always um, welcome to drop that bottom knee down if you need to, but you don't have to. Really press out of that bottom shoulder, feeling the right fingertips reach up higher to the sky, and then lift the right leg hip height. You can hop right here, or bring the elbow to the knee in front of the body. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend, find high plank, top of a push-up, hold here. We're gonna lower down halfway for one push up and then push straight back up. Good. Finding your chaturanga, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Take a deep breath into your nose. Long side out. Let's do the other side. Left heel goes high to the sky. Heel is up, toe is down. Really feeling that hamstring work. Dial the pinky toe down. Slowly bring the left foot next to the left thumb. Drop the back knee down for a little lunge. Both arms float up. Take a deep breath in. Sink down even lower, feeling the stretch on the hip flexor. Let's see if I get it right this time. So now right hand goes forward, left arm goes back. Yay! Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. And then moving to the back bend. Left hand finds the hamstring, right arm reaches high to the sky. Both hands float up. Reach 
reaching to the ceiling, tuck the toes, find your high lunge. Good, and going through your checklist, keeping your body safe, front knee is safe, stacked over the ankle, pointing over the middle toes, lift up higher on the back toe mount, engage the muscle from the back leg, shoulders are gentle. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Slowly lower that back knee all the way down, find your half split leg from the front leg, really forward. Good, take a deep breath in, stay for the exhale, really pull those toes back to the face, feel the wonderful stretch on the hamstring. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Then back into the front knee, find your runner's lunge. Twist it out, hand, right hand stays down, left arm reaches high, stocking left shoulder over right. Making your way to side plank, you can just take the left foot to the back of the mat or drop that bottom knee down, it's up to you. Really reach and grow. Take a deep breath in. Lift that left foot, hip height. Knee to elbow in front of the body. Crunch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Finding high plank. Top of a push up. One push up. Lower down halfway. Push straight back up. Moving through your chaturanga or skipping it. Meeting in downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Long breath out. Good, moving a little bit faster, same flow. Inhale, right heel high to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Bring that foot all the way through, lower the back knee down. Both arms float up. Twisting towards the right, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Take the back bend, left arm reaches up. Both hands float up high to the sky, high lunge. Good, lower all the way back down, half split. Lengthen that front leg, release it forward. Crawling forward, find your runner's lunge to twist, right arm reaches high. Side plank, front foot goes to the back, reach the hips tight. Knee to elbow in front of the body, punch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Find your high plank, top of a push up. One push up, lower down halfway. Push up, chaturanga, or skip it. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel high to the sky. Bring that foot all the way through, lower the back knee down, low lunge, arms float up. Twisting, right arm forward, left arm goes back. Take the back bend, reach up. Both arms float up on the inhale, find your high lunge. Lower that back knee all the way down, half split, lengthen the front leg, release forward. Bending into the front knee, find your runner's lunge, twist, left arm reaches high. Side plank or modified side plank, front foot to the back. Knee to elbow in front of the body, punch it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale, extend high plank, top of a push up, lower down, push up. Chaturanga, lower down, pull the heart through the biceps. Downward facing dog. Good, take a big breath in. Long side out. Reach up one more time each side. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale that foot through, drop the back knee down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale to twist. Take the back and reach the left arm higher. Bring both arms back up to the sky. Find your high lunge. Take that back knee down. Half split, lengthen the front leg. Inhale, find your runner's lunge to twist. Right arm reaches high. Side plank, front foot to the back. Three crunches, knee to elbow, extend. Knee to elbow, extend. Knee to elbow, extend, high plank. One push up, lower down half leg. Push straight back up, moving through your chaturanga or skipping it, meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, bring that foot through, lower the back knee down, arms float up. Twist it out, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back, take the back foot. Both arms inhale to the sky, find your high lunge, lift up, lower down. Half splank, lengthen that front leg, release forward. Crawling forward, find your runner's lunge, twist, left arm high, side plank, front foot to the back. Hips go higher, three crunches, knee to elbow, and extend, knee to elbow, and extend, knee to elbow, and extend high plank, lower down halfway, push up, then chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog, take a big breath in through your nose, exhale through your mouth, let's open it up, one more time like that, another big breath in, long breath out, you guys are awesome, inhale right heel high to the sky, slowly bring that right foot next to the right thumb for warrior one, dial that back heel down, both arms float up. So your feet are on two train tracks here. The back toes are pointing to the front corner of your room. Front knee is safe, stacked over that front ankle, pointing over the middle toes. Sink down even lower. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale. 
One more inhale, and we're gonna twist, T-twist like we did before. So right hand back, left arm forward. Good, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, both arms up high to the sky. Finding lizard's lunge, both hands come on the inside of that front foot. Walk that back foot out, or back foot back, front foot out. You can stay lifted here, or drop to the knees on this round. When we go a little bit faster, you might wanna stay more lifted, but just keep breathing. You can come down to the forearms if you want. You don't have to. Just keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more round of breath here. And then exhale, come back to your palms if they're not there already. We're gonna find pyramid pose. So you're gonna lengthen both legs, walk that back foot in a couple footprints, and then release forward. You might have to heel toe that front foot in. So your feet are still on those two parallel train tracks, feeling a nice stretch on that front hamstring. Keep breathing, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in. Exhale and stay. We're gonna twist the left hand stays on the mat, right arm reaches high. Trying to stack right shoulder over left. This is a great place to use a block just to bring the floor up to meet you. Good, one more inhale in. Exhale, lifted hand, finds the floor. We're gonna move to warrior two. So back foot becomes perpendicular to the front as you cartwheel your arms open. Good, sit lower into the front thigh. Maybe challenge yourself a little bit more than you're used to. Reach fingertips from front to back with your mat. Good, stay here. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale, making your way to triangle. Lengthen that front leg. Reach the hips back behind you. Arms go forward, and then just go from floor to ceiling. Be careful not to dump down into that front arm. Use the strength of the obliques to keep the torso lifted. Take a deep breath in. Staying here for the exhale. We're gonna reverse this triangle, so squeeze the inner thighs together as you high five the wall behind you, pushing the hips forward. Good, coming back to warrior two and finding balanced half moon. Front hand on the outside of the front foot, slowly lift that back leg. Stacking hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, pressing down so hard through the standing leg that maybe you can take the bottom hand off of the mat. Beautiful. And from here, we're gonna meet in a forward fold, so left foot finds right foot, release down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release to your pose. Toes and heels touch as arms float up high to the sky. Hips sink down even lower. So weight is in the heels. Sink down lower in the hips. Engage the core. Went the tailbone down to the mat. Don't work your booty out here. Lift the shoulders, sink down. Take a deep breath in. Sink lower because you can. One more inhale in, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, centering back to high plank, top of a push-up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, out of your mouth. Other side, left heel goes high to the sky, warrior one. Left foot next to left thumb, dial that back heel down 45 degrees. Both arms float up. Shoulders are gentle in the sockets. Sink lower into the front thigh. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale. We're gonna twist. Right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. Good, take another deep breath in. Long breath out. Inhale, both arms back up to the sky. Finding lizard's lunge. Hands go on the inside of that front thigh. Wiggle, walk that front foot out. Back foot scoots back. You can stay here. You can drop the back knee down. You can come down to the forearms. Whatever feels good to you, just keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. A couple more breaths here. And then we're gonna make our way back to our palms. Moving to pyramid pose, you're gonna lengthen both legs. You probably have to adjust your feet, walking the back foot in a little bit. Release over, nice hamstring stretch. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in. Stay here for the exhale, we're gonna twist. So right hand stays on the mat. Left arm reaches high to the sky. Stacking left shoulder over right. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Good, lifted hand finds the mat. Moving to warrior two, bending into the front knee. Feet become perpendicular as you cartwheel your arms open, sit low. Good. Heel to toe, or, or heel to heel, or heel to arch alignment. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Arms are reaching. Sit down even lower. 
Finding triangle pose, lengthen that front leg, shift the hips back, arms go forward till they can't go anymore. Then they reach from floor to ceiling. Six and 12 on that clock. One more breath in. Staying here for the exhale, reverse it. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Reverse your triangle. Hips push forward. Arms reach backwards. Good, bending back into that front knee, finding warrior two, balanced half moon. Front knee on the outside of that front foot, slowly lift the back leg, second hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Keep breathing, maybe take the bottom hand off the mat or your block, and we'll meet in a forward fold. Right foot finds left foot, release over, inhale, half lift to reset, exhale, release to your pose, arms sweep up, hips sink low. Good, squeeze those legs together, weight is in the heels, hips go lower, core is even more engaged than it was before, shoulders are gentle in the sockets, no stress here, you are a warrior, you can sit lower, take a deep breath in, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release, stepping back to high plank or jumping back into chaturanga, it's up to you, but we'll meet in downward facing dog. Once there, take a deep breath in, Long side out. Let's go a little bit faster. Right heel goes high to the sky. Warrior one, right foot, right thumb. Dial that back heel down. Arms reach up. So twist, left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Arms reach up high to the sky. Lizards lunge, hands go on the inside of that front foot. Good pyramid pose, both legs lengthen. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale, let's twist. Right arm reaches, left arm stays down. Exhale, lift the hand down, warrior two, cartwheel those arms open, sit low into the front thigh. Triangle pose, lengthen that front leg, arms go from floor to ceiling. Reverse your triangle, high five the back wall, push the hips forward. Warrior two, sink low, balanced half moon, slowly lift that back leg, hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder. Find your forward fold, left foot meets right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release to your pose, arms sweep up, hips sink lower. Exhale, down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Stepping back to high plank. Moving through your chaturanga. Meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, warrior one. Bring that foot all the way through. Dial that back heel down. Arms reach up. Twisting, heart opens to the left. Inhale, both arms up. Lizards lunge. Hands on the inside of that front foot. Take a deep breath in. Finding pyramid pose. Both legs lengthen. Good, big breath in. Stay here for the exhale, we'll twist. So right hand stays down, left arm reaches high. Exhale, lift the hand down. Find warrior two, adjust the feet, cartwheel the arms open. Triangle pose, lengthen that front leg. Arms go from floor to ceiling. Then reverse it, squeeze those inner thighs, high five the back wall. Warrior two, sink low. Finding balance, half moon, lift that back leg. Find your balance here, and then meet in a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release to your pose, arms sweep up, sweep up, hips sink down, and then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Stepping back to high plank, top of a push-up, moving through your chaturanga, meeting in downward facing dog. One more time, each side, let's unite a breath, take a deep breath in, long breath out. <laughs> Inhale, right heel high. Warrior one, right foot next to right thumb, arms reach up. Good, let's twist it out, heart goes to the right. Hip in, hands sweep up, lizards lunge, hands go down to the mat. Lengthen both legs for pyramid pose. Take a deep breath in, stay for the exhale. Let's twist, right arm reaches high. Exhale, lift the hand down, warrior two, cartwheel the arms open, sit lower. Triangle pose, lengthen the front leg, arms go from floor to ceiling. Reverse your triangle, high five the back wall. Sink low into warrior two. Balance half moon, front hand on the outside of the front foot, lift that back leg. Meet in a forward fold, left foot meets right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release to your pose. Say hello to yourself because you can do it, and then exhale down forward fold. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, stepping back to high plank, moving through your chaturanga, meeting in downward facing dog. Inhale, left heel high, warrior one, left foot, left thumb. Dial that back heel down, arms reach up. Heart goes to the left, really twist open. Hands breathe up. Lizards lunge, hands find the mat. Feel the stretch on the outer side of the thigh. Pyramid pose, lengthen both legs. Big breath in, stay for the exhale. Now twist, left arm reaches high. Exhale, lift the hand down to the mat. Warrior two, cartwheel the arms open. Triangle pose, lengthen the front leg, hips go back, arms go forward. 
Reverse your triangle, push the hips forward, reach backwards. Where your two seems low. Balance half moon. Front knee on the outside of the front foot. Lift the back leg. Knee in a forward fold. Half lift to reset. Inhale. Exhale forward fold. Chair pose. Best one. Last one. And forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale. Release. Stepping back to high plank. Top of a push up. Moving through your chaturanga. Meeting in downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Take a deep breath in. Long side out. Inhale in. Exhale out. Quick break if you want to take it. You can drop to your knees, towel off, get a drink of water. Give yourself a high five. <laughs> Good, and we'll meet in downward facing dog in three more breaths. And two more breaths. And then making your way to downward facing dog. Good, let's unite our breath together. Remembering we're all still connected. Take a deep breath in, exhale, let it go. Inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes, feet to hands, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, high mountain. Coming all the way to the top, one leg into Dasana, right knee lift. You're welcome to stay here or you can extend the foot, the heel forward, but you're welcome to stay with the bent leg too. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out, twisting to the right, heart goes to the right, <laughs> left, right foot, right hand back, left arm forward. You can grab that foot if you want to, or just hold on to the knee. It's up to you. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. Release the foot, hands float up. Try not to let the leg drop, and then find where you're three. Let that foot swing back like a pendulum, hinging at the left hip. Take a deep breath in, long breath out, and then finding high lunge, arms reach up. Star pose going to the right, reach up nice and tall, and then wide legged like forward fold, feet become parallel as you release over. Hands can stay on the mat underneath your shoulders for support, or you can grab behind the ankles and pull yourself down. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. One more deep breath in. And long breath out. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Give yourself a little half lift. And then we're going to find runner's lunge facing the front of our mat. Left arm inhales up to twist. Side plank once again. Front foot goes to the back. You're welcome to stay here. Or we're going to reach that left hand underneath the body towards the right side of the ring. And then inhale it back up. Two more times, reach down and under and around. And inhale, back up one more time. Reach down and under and around. Inhale it back up, high plank. Meeting a downward facing dog. Your path is your choice. You can move through chaturanga or just push back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, long side out. Great job, inhale, lift up high on the tippy toes. Exhale, feet to hands forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, high mountain arms reach up high to the sky. One leg into Dasana, left knee goes up. You're welcome to stay here or kick that left heel forward, extending the leg. We're gonna twist, so to the left, right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. You can either hold on to the knee or if you can grab the foot, go there. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. Both hands float back up. Maybe you don't let that leg drop. And then find warrior three as you swing that leg through, teeter tottering at the right hip crease. Take a deep breath in. Stay here for the exhale. One more inhale in. Exhale, find high lunge. Drop that back foot down. Star pose, move to the left. Wide legged forward fold. Feet become parallel as you release forward. Hands can stay on the mat. Or you can grab the ankles, the calves, the feet, pull yourself down. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in. Hands from underneath the shoulders. Give yourself a half lift. Exhale. Crawl towards the front of your mat. Inhale. Right arm high. Runner's lunge twist. Side plank. Front foot goes to the back. Hips go higher. Slowly take that right arm. Curl it around the chest. Reaching back behind you. Inhale and lift. Exhale and curl. Inhale and lift. Exhale and curl. Inhale and lift. 
Finding high plank, top of a push up. Exhale, down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long breath out through your mouth. Good job, right heel goes high to the sky. Bend the knees down. Right knee is now the highest point on your body. Think about your shoulder and really try to pull that right shoulder down. And then from here, finding half pigeon, right knee to right wrist, right foot to left wrist. Wiggle walk around until you figure out what you need here. Keep that front knee safe. Back leg comes straight out of the spine like a tail. And when you're ready, you can recline forward if you want to. You don't have to. Maybe connecting that forehead with the mat in front of you. The most important thing here is to come back to your breath. As long as there's no pain in your body, the only thing you worry about is the wind coming in through your nose and out through your nose. And stay here for three more breaths, breathing in. And letting go two more times like that. With each exhale, see if you can surrender just a little bit more to this half pigeon. Moving through our last round of breath on this side. And then finding our palms. We're going to meet in three point downward facing dog. So tuck the back toes, sweep the front leg up and back for three point down dog. Bend the knee and step the hip. You can stay right here and open and close that knee joint. You can take some big hip circles or you can flip your dog, itching that foot back and down and around until it finds the floor behind you. Hips go higher, arm reaches further, and then slowly come back around. Do three point downward facing dog and then downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose, long breath out. <sighs> Inhale, left heel high. Bend the knee and stack the hip, open everything up. Great job. Think about those shoulders, pull that left shoulder down. And then slowly bring that leg all the way through for half pigeon. Left knee, left wrist, left foot, right wrist. Back leg comes straight out of the spine like a tail. Front knee is safe. You can always put a block, a blanket, or a pillow underneath that left hip if you need some support. And then release forward when you're ready. Coming back to your breath, your front of your life force. The thing that is always there for us and never leaves us. It's a tool that we can use if we choose to. Keep breathing. With each exhale, surrendering a little bit more. And a little bit more. We got one more big breath here. Exhale, let it go. Slowly rising back to our palms. And we're going to find three point downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, sweep that left leg up and back, bend the knees, stack the hip. You're welcome to stay here. Hip circles, open and close that knee joint. And then flip it if you want to, reaching that foot back around until it finds the mat. Hips go higher, arm reaches further. Slowly come all the way back around, finding downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, long breath out. One more inhale in, and then on this exhale, drop to your knees. Good, we're gonna find a camel pose. So come to standing on your knees. Knees are hip distance apart and parallel. It's two this way, so you can measure it out if you want to. You're gonna bring your hands to your low back. Thumbs are out, fingers are down. Really pull those elbows together. Push the hips forward so much so you feel like you might fall forward. Then drop the head back between your shoulder blades. This might be enough. You can stay right here. You don't have to do anything else, but if you want to, maybe you reach for one heel and then the other. Palm to the bottom of the foot. Continue to push the hips forward and forward. Ignore that fight or flight response that you're happening right now. Believe in yourself, you're okay. Keep breathing. One last big breath in. And then slowly come out, just like you came back in, hands to lower back. And then hips sink back to heels, sitting on your shins. Give yourself just a moment here to acclimate. And when you're ready, you can find your child's pose or embryo pose, reaching your arms out to the top of your mat. 
So everyone with knees come together, forehead's on the mat, hands are by the ankles, or child's pose, like we did at the beginning, arms reach out long. It's up to you. Take a deep breath in. Long side out. One more inhale in. Stay here for the exhale. Slowly start to rise. And then grab a seat on your booty. Legs go out long in front of you for a seated forward fold. Legs are long, sitting on the sits bones. Reach high out of the waist. Create some space. Start to walk your hands down your thighs with a flat back. Don't round yet. See how far you can go with a super straight spine. Keep breathing, creating space in your body. And when you exhale, maybe go a little bit deeper with that flat straight spine. One more inhale in, and on this exhale, round chin to chest, release forehead. Forehead can reach down to your shins, or wherever it may land. Just keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in, and then exhale out. Slowly rise, uh, soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. We're gonna do a side bend right here. So right hand next to the mat next to you. Left arm reaches up and over. We usually do this at the beginning of class, but maybe it feels different now at the end. Really ground down through that left fist bone. Feeling a nice stretch through the ribs. Take a deep breath in. Staying here for the exhale. The inhale brings you back to center. Let's do the other side. Left hand down, right arm reaches up and over. And tension grounding down through that right sits bone, feeling a nice stretch through the ribs. Big breath in. Staying here for the exhale. Inhale brings you back to center. Baddha Konasana straight down the middle. Chin to chest, rounding over. Feeling a nice stretch through the hips, the low back. Keep breathing. Inhaling in. And then fully emptying the lungs. Letting something down to your back, reclining all the way down on your mat, bring your knees into chest, give yourself a hug, maybe rock side to side, massage the low back, then keep that right knee and extend the left leg long, hug that knee in nice and tight, feel the compression of the thighs and the belly, take a deep breath in, staying here for the exhale, then flex the right foot, kick the right heel high to the sky, holding behind the thigh, the calf, and the ankle. Good, take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in. And on this exhale, twist with both legs long. Let that leg float across the body. Arms go out to a T. If you hate this leg shape, then bend that knee or both knees, it's up to you. Heads can spin over to the right side of the room just to complete the twist in the spine. Big breath in, exhale, melt. Another big breath in, exhale and melting. Slowly bring that knee back into your chest, right knee hugs in nice and tight, finding a half happy baby. So holding on to the inside or outside of that right foot, using the strength of the right arm to pull that knee down closer to the mat. Take a deep breath in. Long breath out. One more inhale in. And then exhale, release. You can lengthen that leg long, but eventually we're gonna bring both knees back into the chest and do the other side. So rock side to side, massaging the low back. This time keeping the left knee in, extend the right leg long, squeezing that knee in tight, feeling the compression of the thigh to the belly. Flexing that left heel, kicking the left heel high to the sky. One last hamstring stretch, holding the back of the thigh, the calf of the ankle. Breathing deep, a deep exhale, pulling that leg just a little bit closer to your torso. One more big inhale in. And then on this exhale, twisting, letting that left leg float across the body, arms come out to a T, head spins over to the left. Feeling that nice stretch, that nice twist. If you can, keep both shoulder blades 
on the mat. That's great. If not, just do the best you can. Just keep breathing. And slowly bringing that left knee back into the chest, finding a half happy baby. Grabbing the inside or the outside of that left foot, pull that knee down, feel the stretch through the hip, maybe even through the right hip flexor, just breathe. And slowly release that leg. Both knees, or uh, both feet find the mat, knees are facing up. Wiggle walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat and then knock the knees together. Bring one hand to heart and one hand to belly. And just settle in. Noticing how you're feeling, how you're doing. How is your body feeling? How is your body doing? And then ask the same thing of your heart. How are you doing emotionally, spiritually? Just take notice, no judgment. And if there's something that you need, make note of that. See if there's a way you can meet that need today. It might mean doing something brave, picking up the phone, asking for help, or just asking for a friend to talk to. Maybe it's saying no to something good so you can do something great. One last breath in. Exhale, let it go. Finding your Shavasana, your final resting posture. Extend your legs long if that feels good to you. Hands come by the hips, palms are facing up. And just let go. I'll watch the time, I'll hold the space. You surrender.
welcome to say Shavasana as long as you need to. But this concludes our time together. Bring your hands to prayer position at heart center. Finding gratitude for yourself, for your body, for this wonderful practice. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Long sigh out of your mouth. The light in me sees and honors the light in you.